Our team is called Encora and we're part of the Biodesign Innovation course at Melbourne Uni. So our project measures pressure inside the skull uh, without surgery. So this week we're working on overcoming some problems in our coding. So we're looking at debugging the software that we're using alongside our electrical equipment so that we can successfully move on to the next stage of our project and carry out the experiments that we need to. Our team usually works in the design and build lab at the uni when we're working on the actual prototyping, the technical bits. Um, when we're working with the MBA students, we also work in Melbourne Business School and we have a lot of our full team meetings over there. Uh, we also spend some time going to hospitals and trying to validate our need and trying to understand where clinicians would actually use our device. To set up meetings with the clinicians, our supervisors in the uni helped us get some initial contacts. One of the challenges that we have is to know which kind of components do we need for our experiment. Uh, I think the difficult part was to understand what kind of components, what kind of things we need to uh, order to, uh, that will fit our, our needs. So the biggest population of patients that could benefit from our device are people that have had a trauma to the head. Um, but we also envision our device being used for patients that have other head conditions like um, brain infections or a stroke or other congenital conditions like hydrocephalus and epilepsy. Here is a pressure transducer that measures the differential pressure um, of a fluid. Here is a, a vessel that will be filled with water. Um, seen here are some tubes that go in to fill it up with fluid. Um, and this represents the, the current invasive method that clinicians use to measure pressure inside the head. What we're trying to do with this setup is measure the pressure inside this bottle as we fill it with water. So the more water there is, the higher the pressure should be. You can see down here are a couple of sensors and that's how we aim to use our concept. So it's completely non-invasive, it's not penetrating the bottle in any way. You can see here, this is sort of our um, conceptual design of how our final product might look like. So it'd be a wearable sort of band across someone's head and this band would consist of the sensors that we're talking about. We've bonded quite well um, as, as a team. We, we do have fun during our team meetings. and. Okay, so Eric has this, this thing with magic tricks. Every time we meet it's like, oh guys, I have a new magic trick and that's so funny. Um, about Roban, well, he's like uh, learning Spanish, so his GPS is, is in Spanish actually. So it's so it's so funny when we are trying to reach a hospital and then like the GPS is, is speaking in Spanish. Yeah, so he sometimes just get lost because of that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great things about working with a team of biomedical engineers and MBAs on this project is that we have both sides of the problem, and I think that's a really great thing because we're looking forward to even after uni to continue working on this project and we envision it actually being present in hospitals and helping people. Thanks for watching episode 2 of our journey to endeavor. If you enjoy our video, please like it on YouTube and share it with your friends. No pressure. And be sure to visit us at Endeavor on Thursday, October the 18th at the University of Melbourne. For more information, please visit endeavor.unimel.edu.au